Okay, it's great and glorious Nick Dutch here yet again. Um, here's the situation, right? I did my, you know, weekly tarot show, recorded it on the camera, it seemed to work out fine, but hey presto, something went wrong and I couldn't upload it. So I'm doing the whole thing all over again just for you guys. It shows I'm putting in an awful lot of hard work to make um, your lives um, that tiny bit happier just for one day, all right? So we got three readings to do today. The first one is for um, a YouTube user. Uh, who's basically asking whether she should stay or, she, or whether she should go with this with this particular relationship? Okay, you know who you are. You've asked me not to give your name. I'm not even going to give you a YouTube ID, and we'll just essentially see what the reading has to say. Bear with me a second, please. Okay, well, this edition is spread out now. My typical um, eight card relationship reading, and we'll see what comes through. All right, now. From the outset, yeah, okay, on your side of things, got a sense of um, trying to use your inner strength, which is off, which often comes up uh, in a relationship in which there's a few problems. There's a sense of passion there, so you still have affection, uh, but you're also concerned about um, difficulties, other people getting involved, uh, and trying to make sure you can focus on where this relationship is actually taking you properly. Uh, the forces between you, hmm. There's still some more benefits to be had here, so although it's difficult, already the reading is suggesting that you should carry on and be per and persevere. The guy you're with, uh, that's someone who's showing um, still some affection and more of a desire to communicate later on down the line. So still it's looking quite positive. But all of this part of the reading deals with the energies for the here and now. Because the way I do my reading is some cards for your side of things, some cards for your partners one for the forces in between and a short glimpse into the future and we'll see what's happening there now short term, mid term and long term as you can see one card for each time period each time period being approximately three months um, hmm. okay the short term period is talking about stability because it felt a little erratic earlier on um, I'd have to say that it's going to be, it's going to be an unstable state of stability for you with a sense of Hmm. Um, basically more success and connectivity coming along around the line. I would say the next three months is more a question of a rebuilding a foundation and redefining the type of connectivity you've got. Uh, just very quickly run through the cards we've got. Nine of staves, princess of wands. We have the nine of discs, the star card, ace of swords. We have uh, the four of coins or four of discs. Uh, the Ten of Cups, and of course, the Great and Glorious Six of Cups, which was reversed in this particular reading, suggesting slow progress rather than dramatic progress. Uh, it's a very peculiar reading because we've got that sense of desire, we've got that sense of wistfulness um, manifesting in your partner side of things with the star, but the communication is not in between you. It's a bit more like a willingness to communicate rather than actual communication happening. So it's, um, it feels um, a bit erratic and a bit tense. There's some information which is missing between you, which you'll need to try and work out what that one little piece of information you need to say or need to do to be able to try and bring this around. And yes, there will be changes needed in terms of your demeanor, in terms of the way that you express yourself. All right. Now, um, the second reading today is for, yes, it is a Kylie. Um, no, I don't think it's the famous Kylie, okay? But she's just asking whether she's going to get a job soon, and that's how I can tell it's probably not the famous Kylie, all right? <laughs> um, uh, well, my dear, unfortunately, I've got some bad news for you, all right? The, um, your short-term future, which is defined by the Emperor card, is talking about you being seen as being a person of authority and of strength and power, so that's actually a good thing. But there's also a sense of isolation there. I, I, I feel somehow in my bones. We're not getting financial signs until about four to six months down the line, manifesting the princess of discs, seeing you as being a woman of strength and power. So it looks like earlier on in the reading, someone else is defining where you should be going, what you should be doing. And I feel you're taking a bit too much advice from other people who are driving you in the wrong direction. Uh, and I feel that's actually held you back. You may need to rewrite your resume, you may need to reappraise your job searching techniques and essentially the kind of jobs you're looking for. All right, but you know, halfway through this time period, we are seeing some signs of success as a result of a better quality of agreement, which is defined by uh, the Four of Swords here. 
I mean, I always, I mean, the Four of Swords is labeled truce. I see that in a similar way to the Two of Swords being that of mutual agreement. But it's not between uh, two people, it's between a larger group. All right, so that does involve heavy networking, which I would say you'll be doing earlier on down the line when you're appraising your job searching methodology, trying to make sure that um, you're not coming over basically as too needy and too much in desire of that new job, as is defined by the Seven of Cups reversed, okay? So yes, there is good news later on down the line, but you've got to change the way that you're appearing to the world of jobs and business to be able to get to where you want to go. So there's there's work to be done there. You've got to basically um, reform and revitalize uh, the way that you're connecting with other people. All right, let's just try and let's just try and get the final spread of today done. All right, and this is for Mark, a lonely young guy who's uh, been single for three years. Don't worry about that. I've had longer periods of being single in my life, so uh, it does happen. And uh, he's wondering whether this one particular lady that he's got an interest in is actually going to be a good quality long-term relationship partner for him. Okay, so let's have a quick look. All right, again, I'm doing the relationship style spread, basically, you know, my eight-card methodology. We're having a look at uh, the here and now and a brief glimpse into the future. All right. <clears throat> the science of the forces between you, which is the five of discs, is labeled worry. And yes, it does have a dark energy or a dark feeling about that. But that's the forces between you in the here and now. It's not what's appearing in the future. So there is some difficulties there causing worry, confusion, and I would even say panic. This is not, a, you know, although you haven't told me how long you've known this lady, I can tell that you haven't known her for all that long. It can only have been a couple of weeks because there's no real sense of a foundation being built. On your side of the reading, the magician card is talking about a state of desire to create something new and a great sense of pleasure when you're with her or thinking about her. That's wonderful, very romantic. The magician card is reversed. There's something wrong about your approach here. You are quite evidently very different people, very different characters indeed. And you seem to have jumped to some conclusions about her. And despite that, I mean, she's got some disappointment in you because of the way in which you're approaching the relationship with her. And that's a bad sign. But she still has some pleasure at knowing you as is defined by um, the four of, of staves there labeled completion. So it's still very, very early. There's anxiety. There's lack of knowledge going both ways. Um, and so it's very tricky in the here and now. I often recommend uh, you know, work with communication and shared experiences, and I don't say that to everybody. The reason I don't say that to everybody is because it's a bit of a blanket phrase. We've got to work out in, which, in each case what's going wrong here. And what's going wrong is you've known this character for nowhere near long enough. You're trying to go too fast. You haven't assessed her character and her nature. <coughs> All right, she's got some uh, pleasure in knowing you, but you've got to change a lot of things about the way in which you're explaining yourself to her in terms of your demeanor, the way, you know, your facial expressions and lots of other little factors. If you can do that, then you've got a good chance. When we have a look at the future, this is actually, actually fantastic. Um, the long-term future is still so showing signs of trying to come to terms with each other, so it's not going to be a perfect situation brought around in a, in a short space of time. Your medium-term future, three to six months from now, that's still talking about a lot of hard work. So this sense of not quite getting on right that we saw earlier on in the reading is carrying on later on. All right? So you're still going to be in communication. You're still going to be having time together. But you've still got to learn much more. The beneficial signs here in the short-term future, up to three months from now, there is going to be changes towards the positive and a much more calmer demeanor happening between you. So you will have done an awful lot of learning earlier on. I mean, you're not very well matched to be together, but for some reason you're going to be able to find a way of making this happen. There is some very good chances here, but it is going to be difficult. Expect there to be disappointments, but you know, I'll be looking forward to discussing this with you in greater detail. Naturally, you can catch me on bespoke-group.com slash freelance, which is the instant message board style, sorry, the, um, the message board style psychic reading site, as well as live on nickdutch.co.uk, whereby I'm doing chat readings for currently um, 60 cents a minute. And for the phone readings, that's um, currently 70 cents a minute. 
and if you're in the UK, that'll be 95 cents a minute, okay? I uh, look forward to speaking to you guys soon. Bye for now.